Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios. And joining us at the kitchen is the executive chef of Mashula Restaurant, Anthony Bonnet. Hi, Nicole. Nice to have you here. Thank you. So what are we making today? This is a gorgeous piece of meat. It is. We have a, uh, we're gonna do a prime New York strip steak grilled with roasted bone marrow. Mm. Uh, which goes great with the steak. We have some ramps, great spring vegetable. Definitely. That uh, seems like they're every, everybody's menu nowadays. Uh, we'll be grilling those, and we'll be finishing it with a, uh, a salted cherry puree, garlic aioli, and a little garnish of some uh, fresh cherries with some microgreens. Fantastic, let's yeah, get started. Nice, simple dish. Uh, we'll talk about the beef first. This is uh, Nature Source Prime. This is the, the front piece of, a, of mm. a New York strip, or, or what they call a zero by one strip. See, there's really nice marbling Beautiful. in it. Yeah, it looks really nice, a nice piece of meat. So I'm just going to trim it up and show you how we can cut steaks out of it. Uh, generally, when you get a, a zero by one strip, this is what it looks like. It has a nice piece of fat on it. And really, it's just completely up to you what, how you want to, you know, how much fat you want to take on or leave off. I mean, you can really cut this into steaks and, you know, leave a lot of the fat on it. And a lot of people do. And it's, you know, I, I prefer to have some fat. I don't, I don't like a really, like, overly clean, austere steak. I mean, it should have some fat to it. So you just, we're just trimming down a little bit. And the mm -hmm. good thing about a... Um, a prime piece of meat is all the fat is very like succulent and soft right. you know you don't end Buttery. up with a lot of like nervy fat or anything mm -hmm. so and that's where you really see the difference nice. uh, the bottom I think we could just trim a little tiny bit off the bottom and this is just like a nice slicing knife fairly sharp yeah very sharp what would you do with these trimmings anything you can honestly I mean we up at work we grill them off and the guys make tacos with them and stuff you can Stash make sauce on. with them you can yeah you can trim take the trimmings and make beef tartare with it I mean it's beautiful nice. beef so uh, one, once anything. we're down to this part, I mean, we could just pretty much cut our steaks and, you know, everybody expects a fairly big steak, uh, especially on our menu. You know, we're, we're big on like 12 to 16 ounce steaks. Wow. So, that's boneless? Uh, this is completely boneless. Yep, Ooh. and it is boneless that weight. Yeah. That's so huge. I just cut that off just to make it a little straight. People like big steaks, you know, yeah. when you go to steakhouses. So, this will be like a 12, I think. Wow. You can always take it home if you don't finish it, right. I guess. And there you go. That's nice. That's, that's a 14 to 16 now. That's gorgeous. That's a nice looking steak. She's I'll cut beaut. one more. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. So here we have nice, two nice boneless New York strip steaks. And we're just going to put them on the plate and we're going to season them up. So okay. we can get rid of this. Let me put this down here. There you go. Okay. So how are things over at Mashulu? Doing great. Yeah, yeah, we're coming into our prime time of the year here. This is, uh, this is it for us, April, May, June. Mm -hmm. uh, weather gets nice. Everybody comes down to the water yes. and they want to dine out. Exactly. So uh, we'll be opening our full-time outdoor dining uh, the first week of May, where we'll be serving our full dinner menu plus our, our new bar menu that we'll be starting soon. And that's new, serving dinner outside. It is, yeah. We always serve just the, uh, the bar menu uh, with, you know, like if people would ask for a dinner menu, we would accommodate. But now we've just committed full, you know, to doing it full-time. So. so we're going to season up our steaks now. You have some very happy mm. customers because of that. Yeah, it's, there's a lot going on down at the waterfront this year. They yeah. have that uh, Harbor Park. There's a lot of people walking around. Uh, there's been so much. So they're doing a good job, finally, of drawing people down to the waterfront. Right. So we'll salt both sides. And because it's a big steak and has a lot of fat, you know, you want to really get your seasoning on there because it takes a lot of salt to penetrate all the meat. And, you know, you could season earlier and let it sit for a little bit you know I, I like I think most people like just that natural flavor of beef without sure. overly like being salted inside so mm -hmm. this is just um, fresh black and white pepper and I put some caraway seed in it interesting so you can smell it. yeah caraway. I love the caraway in the beef you smell it wow yeah yeah it's really nice it's it goes great with it goes great here. with the beef uh, and the caraway goes great with the ramps it's just something I picked up I've always done and it's like I, I like to introduce it to beef that's great you so, never really see caraway outside of rye bread right right and it goes great with beef yeah it really does mm -hmm. So we're just going to season that. Would never think to use that. So that's a nice amount of seasoning. And you can go have it here if you like. Mm -hmm. So we're going to grill that. And we're going to, I'll talk about the marrow bones real quick. These are, um, these are veal marrow bones. OK. They call them uh, pipe bones. You get them split. You can get them whole. The good thing about getting them split, you really don't have to do much to them. You just soak them in cold water. You take some of the blood out. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you're just putting them in the oven. They roast. They get nice and soft. And you could pretty much take the marrow out and like eat it with the steak. You can spread it on bread. Yeah, you can <laughs> eat it with a spoon. You can do a million different things with it. So we're just going to season that with salt and pepper, and we're going to go over to the grill. Now, how about this grill? Nice, yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. So it's uh, it's a nice size too. You don't need a huge grill, especially if you're the side. especially if you're grilling inside your home. So the steaks, I have it turned up three quarter. It's not all the way up. You don't want to char too much. It's still pretty hot. Yeah, though. yeah, it is. But 
it looks nice. You'll know you're too hot if you'll see like the flames will come up too much. You don't want right. it like it doesn't have to be like, you know, torched. We built this so, whole kitchen here at Nordon to look like a chef's kitchen. You know, this isn't like does. a home kitchen, this is a restaurant kitchen. No, it is. The hoods and the way the equipment's lined up, you exactly. can definitely do some serious cooking here. We want you guys to feel at home. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Nordon, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, high-tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. While they're grilling, we can talk about the ramps. Okay. This is the ramp pretty much in its partially clean state. Mm -hmm. Still has pretty the root. Dirty. Yeah, they come really dirty actually. They come with a lot of like debris on the stem. You right. just kind of like peel the stem down and you end up with like the, uh, the root on it. Mm -hmm. And you can pretty much just trim the root off. I'll use this board. And once you trim the root off like that, you're pretty much, you know, it's ready to go. Great. And you can smell those too. They have an awesome smell to them. They have like this kind of garlicky, yeah. like light onion smell to them. They're wonderful, but mild. They're great with beef too. Mm -hmm. I mean, for some reason, it's like whenever I get ramps in the kitchen, the first thing I'm gonna do is like grill them up with a burger or something or a yeah. steak. And just... <laughs> so we're gonna just drizzle a little oil on them. Okay. And salt, pepper. And these are gonna go on the grill also? Yeah, we're gonna grill them too. So this is a really nice, I guess it's a good outdoor dish to do. Yeah. It's a good summertime dish Definitely. to do. Definitely, simple. Yep. And we just coat them a little bit of oil and we season them up with salt and they're good and we'll put those on the grill too these cook pretty quickly they do yeah so we'll finish them up we're going to get the steaks done and while they're marking we can show you how to mark these steaks okay so we already did our first first mark on them wow great and then color. i just turn this way you don't have to even do like you know people say like the two o'clock and mm -hmm. seven you know just straight and then that way that's all it's really easy and nice. you end up with like perfectly you know straight yeah. lines you know it doesn't have to be that complicated so if you'd like to move it to another part of the grill that might be a little hotter we're going to finish these in the oven mm -hmm. uh you can finish on the grill we can like we can turn them over and pull them forward okay and let them cook slowly and then they'll kind of like you know just you get them to where you want them because they're going to cook fairly fast especially right. if you want rare medium rare so once we get to this point where we have the other side marked we're just going to turn them over and see we have really nice grill marks on there. Beautiful. Look awesome. Mm -hmm. Got a nice little char smell to them. And you just let them sit on that side for a minute. And I brought some herbs and some shallots and garlic just to kind of lay on top. Add a little seasoning to it while we put them in the oven. We do a lot of grilling in the summer. All the time. Really? Who doesn't, you, you know? Grab my sheet tray I have right yeah, here sure. for my steaks. And these are pretty thick steaks. They so. are, they're really thick. I mean, like I said, and, you know, for us, Price isn't really like a big deal for us, you know, mm -hmm. we could charge $40, $50 for a steak, even more. I just feel like, you know, you can go smaller on, on fish portions, on, you know, on dock, on things that are really rich, but beef people definitely want, like, it's, it's generally, a, you know, a more conservative diner that's eating, ordering a steak anyway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, so there they are on the tray. We're just going to put a piece of butter on top of each one. Mm, yum. Just to give it a nice little, little flavor. Can't hurt. We could put a sprig of thyme on top of each one. Okay. And we put a little piece of shallot, a couple shallots on each one. Gonna add lots of flavor in there. Yep, we got a garlic clove. And these are gonna go right in the oven with the bone marrow. Okay. Okay, so you wanna put the bones sure. right on there next to it or you can put them in. And they're already seasoned up. Beautiful. Yep, and we don't need to do anything to them. Butter, they already have stuff on them. We'll put the rest of these herbs right on top of the bone marrow. Just for this, just for the heck of it. Right. Can you use dried herbs here? You can use dry, sure, yeah. yeah. If you want to sprinkle a little dry. And we're going to go right in the oven. Very nice. This oven's set at 375. Okay. And I think it should take like eight, ten, eight minutes. It should be good, perfectly medium rare. Thank you. Wonderful. So that's pretty quick. Okay, we'll grill up the ramps real quick. Thank you. <clears throat> this is a fabulous oven, too. It is. It looks like it's built like a tank. It is, thing. exactly. It really take a beat they really do have the best equipment here at Nordon. Have you had a chance to go through the warehouse yet? I, I did. I walked through. It seems amazing. It's huge. There's so much stuff, I know. Hundreds of thousands my, I had my eye on a bunch of things. Yeah, I bet. So we're just going to do the ramps right now. And All you right. can leave them, you know, just leave them like that. You can get a little color. The ramps hold up really well to char in. So like you'll mm -hmm. see a lot of people's menus like charred ramps or they'll do them on a flat top. They hold up well to getting color. Even those greens. Yeah, the greens kind of just wilt down mm -hmm. the, and the, the bulbs cook down nicely. So uh, it's a really a simple vegetable. Besides the initial cleaning up, you know, there's not right. much else you have to really do with them, which is great because most vegetables have, you know, are so tedious in terms of cooking them. And it's nice to use them while they're here. You know, there's such exactly. a short window. They go really fast. And if you get them in a lot in, you can definitely um, 
pickle them. Yeah. Pickle the bulbs. Preserve them. Uh, you can preserve them. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. So we try to just get a lot in and use them as much as possible. We talked about the um, the cherry puree that mm -hmm. we're going to do with the steak. Yeah, this, this is, is a really, interesting. Yeah, this is really simple. I mean, I felt that like when you're eating the um, the bone marrow with the steak, you need something like sweet and kind yes. of like, you know, it's nice to have that little bit of sweetness with it and a little bit of acid and you have the onion flavor. So we, uh, it's a really simple dish, You just simple preparation. You just... Get some dried cherries? Yeah, you just took some dried cherries, some white balsamic, hmm. and you just put a little bit of water. You bring it to a boil to rehydrate. Yeah. And once they're rehydrated, you really just got to puree them in a blender with That's a little it. bit of sea salt. The oil, and nothing I put black else. pepper. That's it. Yeah, Can so, I taste that? Yep, absolutely. Looks like ketchup almost. Yeah, it's great. Well, I guess it kind of does like mm. play up to that kind of ketchup with beef, wow. you know, kind of like combination. That's great. Yeah. So it's yeah, really it goes great. great. It cuts through the marrow mm -hmm. really nicely. I put so, anything fatty like foie gras or something right, with that. Right, right. Yeah, nice. and that's kind of what what motivated too. Thinking about foie gras with really? beef and yeah. the marrow with beef. So yeah, Love good it. call. So let's check back on our ramps. I think right. they're ready to go. They're starting to char up a little bit. Yeah, they look great. You see what I mean about how they char nicely? Yeah, really nicely. I mean, the leaves, you know, you get a little bit of char on the leaves, but they're great. They're mm -hmm. awesome. And you can take them out and let them almost like steam in the bowl a little bit, and they're mm. good. I'm going to hit them with a little salt and pepper. When you have great ingredients like this, the prime steaks, and Absolutely, beautiful right. fresh rams, right. you and really that's, don't That's the much. thought behind it, is you yeah. really don't need to do much. You know, we can over-technique these things as much as you know, we we'll want, but exactly. it comes down to the ingredients being mm -hmm. awesome. So these are good. I think we're just going to take them off, and we can sit them right back in the bowl, that's all. And let them sit there and kind of wilt. Okay, and we're good with that. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. This is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean, this stove gave up off incredible heat. It wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful. I mean, a plancha, a variety of, of products that they have is incredible. Okay, well the cherries have been cooking a little bit now. We just had them on the induction burner at a, a moderate heat. They're softened up nicely. We had the white balsamic in it, and we're going to puree them, make a nice cherry puree with salt. Great. So I'll bring this nice super duper kitchen blender Just up here. Just going to use a blender. Yeah, this one looks awesome. Great. All right, well, while you do that, I'm going to open up some wine if you're not opposed. No, go ahead. It sounds It's good. always nice to drink a little bit while Seems you cook. It's a good time of day for that. Let me grab some glasses. And it's great over here, too. We've got this beautiful vino barista, and it's fabulous because you can measure out the amount of wine that you want if you want three ounces or five ounces. And then it pours right out. It's great. It's great for restaurants, too. Okay. Go. We don't have too much in there, so. What do we have here? Great. The good thing about these blenders is that you don't even need too much in the blender to make an awesome puree with. Yeah, that's a problem sometimes. Much. Yep. And the end result is just you can puree it as little or as much as you want. Mm -hmm. I already put a little bit of salt in it and we can taste it and maybe put a little more. And you don't really need too much liquid either. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's a little sweet. I think we can get a little salt. And like I said, the end result, you can have any consistency you want. I like it a little bit thicker because we're kind of dolloping on top of the steak. Right. So let me take this out. Poor wine. While you're doing that, I want to go over and check our steaks too and see how they're doing with the marrow. I'm sure the marrow's done. Great. Looks great. Okay, you can see how our steaks are doing. Anthony, did you get a chance to see the wine we're drinking? Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's Italian? It is, yes. It's good. Italian wine and steaks. Awesome. Perfect for a steak. So these are these are great, Nicole. All done. I think the smaller one, if you want to feel for yourself. Sorry. Yeah, I would love to. This is about a medium rare. Yeah, you can touch them. This is. I think this one's pretty close to medium at this point, and I think this one you can feel is still pretty rare. A little rare. thicker. Yeah, and we'll trim a little bit of that off. But this mm -hmm. one's perfect, almost perfect medium. Great. And you can see how the marrow bones are starting to like bubble on top. Yeah. Yeah, be careful. It's really hot. So. But they all get all nice and bubbly, and mm -hmm. they're, they're ready to go. You can spoon them right out. So they don't take long to cook. Yeah, Once they soften up. Quick. Yeah, after you do that initial rinsing, they're, they're ready to go. The plating on this dish is really a nice part of it. It's kind of like we do it at work on a, um, on a wood board. Oh, nice. And because you have the, um, you know, the marrow bones on it, it holds up well to the wood board. I'll just put this right here on top of the induction burner. Okay. Take our mm. steak. All the butter stayed on there, yeah. too. Yeah. 
That's fine. You can let it rest for like you know, a minute, two minutes. It's mm -hmm. fine. And we're going to put that right in the center of the steak, right in the center of the plate. And it looks awesome. It really does. You don't need to um, cut that or anything. No. I'm not a big fan of cutting beef. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you slice duck, slice veal. Right. The marrow bone is going to go right on top. It's so primal looking. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's getting crazy with the amount of people who are eating, like, yes. you know, low carb and mm -hmm. paleo. And it's just, you know, so this was like, you know, I'm just trying to, like, make concessions. To, we could put, a, like, some of those, couple of those shallots and, and a piece of garlic. That looks awesome. You want to pass me the, uh, the ramps right mm -hmm. there? Yep. And these you just kind of like, we're just going to arrange them like that on top of the steak. That is pretty. Would you like me to grab the cherry puree? Yep, let's bring that over. I'm going to show the bone. So right now you have an awesome steak with these awesome ramps. You're going to eat it all together. There's really no starch on the dish, I guess. Right, so. you don't need it though. I guess this is kind of like a way of taking like a, a simple steak and just kind of like, like, you know, hooking it up a little more. Mm -hmm. And we just put the cherry puree right on top mm. of the bone. So when you're eating the marrow, you're like mixing in the cherry puree right. with the bone. And I brought a little bit of simple garlic aioli. It's down yeah. there on the other side if you want to bring that down. Even more richness. Yeah, so then just to kind of bring it all together. So, and this is just a really nice roasted garlic mayo that we made. Did you make the mayonnaise? Yeah, well? we made the mayo. Mm -hmm. and just roasted garlic cloves, egg yolk, Dijon mustard. We put a couple drops. And okay. if you so desire, we could put a little, a little, extra little never hurt smear anybody. on the plate. Just a nice little smear here. Okay. And that's good. We could put a little smear of this on the other side. That was like a little extra sauce yeah. in the sauce girl. And pull this down a little bit. And then we just have a nice combination of, I brought some Belgian endive, mm. which goes great with the steaks. We have some little, little micro better. flowers. We got some micro watercress. Just put a little tiny bit of olive oil in there. And I brought some fresh cherries too. The fresh cherries can go in there too. Just a couple. It's good. And we'll just add those. That kind of adds like a nice little brightness to it and, you know, nice little kind of like mm -hmm. fruity kind of vegetable quality to it. This is like a painting. You're like an artist yeah, at work. Yeah, it's kind of like a real like minimalist plate, but yeah. like, you know, with like nice ingredients on it. Beautiful color with the edible flowers. Yeah, the flowers add nice quality to everything. Especially to cap off this great summertime grilled dish. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It I mean, it. I mean, I think anybody would benefit from eating like this. It's not, I guess, unless you're not a meat eater. Well, I'm not opposed. No, okay, good. <laughs> That's all she wrote? Yep, there you are. I can't wait to taste. It's our beautiful dish. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Cooking in Nordon is one of the, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show, just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. So what's happening over at Mashulo? Uh, so much this time yeah. here. Yeah, besides our, uh, our normal restaurant, a la carte, which uh, you know, we have many diners coming in all the time. Uh, we're into our prime wedding season right now. Oh, sure. So it's pretty much every weekend, Fridays and Saturdays, wedding on each day, sometimes Sundays. Uh, this past Saturday we had multiple weddings. We had one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's, it's what we do well. I mean, we, we look forward to this time of the year. Nice. Everybody seems to want to get married in the spring. Especially in your uh, location right there yeah, the Yeah, absolutely, right. And just being up top on the water. And, and, exactly. The and we offer, we offer great menu options for weddings. We have a, a, a great pastry chef who makes awesome wedding cakes. Wow, so, so everything yeah, we, on site. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, yep. Bring entertainment in. So yeah, it's it's a great it's a great option for weddings because uh, we do everything on site. The the food, That's great. The, you know, so you don't have to worry about bringing another caterer or have to do, dealing mm -hmm. with all these other things. Makes and it easy for the bride. A lot of brides enjoy that because they like to have everything just in one package. Wonderful. Well, why don't so, we head over? Yeah, and let's do it. Okay. I'm so excited. Do you want to do the again. honors? Go yes, ahead. Yes, please. There you go. Here's your knife. But you have to help me out. Good. You still can't eat this thing. whole thing by myself. I'll cut a bigger piece oh, tonight. Come on. Really tender. I'm gonna cut the end off. Take a little marrow. Mm. Don't forget that. I ate it without the marrow, but oh, that's good. The prime steak really makes a big difference. Yeah, it's got great flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got that flavor that kind of lingers in your mouth for a long mm -hmm. time. There you go. Mm. Everything together. Mm. What do you think? 
steak by itself was good. Yeah. Steak with everything, everything else, else is I know. outrageous. The garlic aioli and the, mm -hmm. and the aioli, it's awesome. That works together so nicely. Mm. And you can taste that little bit of like, um, that kind of like gaminess with the prime meat too, like mm -hmm. you know, at the back of your, you know, aftertaste. Right. But it's such a pleasant gaminess. Mm -hmm. It's like a little try with a Try with a little bulb of. Mm. I love ranch. Such a nice springtime flavor. Mm. Mm. American beef. Can't beat it. Seriously. Can we get like more of this marrow? <laughs> we eat this all day long. And the bones are got plenty. I'm starting mm. to realize we should serve two bones with this steak now. <laughs> it's a good thing about eating. Cherry puree is fantastic. It's great with it, yeah. Because all, it's all so rich, it really needs that mm. acidity and that sweetness to cut through. Mm -hmm. mm. Chef, it's been fantastic to have you here today. We can't wait to have you back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nordon is special because we have everything in-house under one roof. So when somebody sees a brochure, they come to Nordon and Nordon brings it to life. The equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. The typical Nordon customer comes to us for equipment expertise. The equipment is top-notch. The variety of products that they have is incredible. When you come here and I see four things that I want or need. If you need something in the Philadelphia, Delaware Valley area, Nordon is your number one choice. You won't be disappointed. Coming into this uh, showroom today, I can see unbelievable equipment. I mean, it just looks like everything is just like the best. I see uh, Jalabo sous vide machines. I see awesome grill, awesome ovens. I saw equipment, I didn't even know what it was. I had to look at, look and see what it really was. It's just unbelievable array of equipment. Everything looks just top notch.